The generations of Elvis fans born after his career and early death may think of Graceland as only a memorial. But those of us who remember the beginning on Ed Sullivan's show recall a different memory. Elvis and his flamboyant style started the generation gap. While young girls swooned to his swiveling hips, the adults and boyfriends waited for him to fail. Oh yes, it was jealousy. When his first movie came out called Love Me Tender, there was laughter when he appeared on the screen. Eventually, we had to admit, though, that the kid could actually sing. When he went into the Army, his army of detractors waited for him to get a dishonorable discharge. He didn't, and he served well. When he got out, it was as if he had passed the test, and Elvis became acceptable, and so had rock and roll. Graceland was at the time an ostentatious house on a hill. But once inside, fans found it to be small and, like Elvis, quite normal. The truth was, Elvis Presley was a nice kid, generous and talented, who loved his folks like a good old Southern boy does. But Elvis's image had been carefully managed for the times. The secret was limited appearances in movies, on records, and television specials, all of which made money. That image is what lives on in Graceland, perpetuated by the countless Elvis impersonators always hanging around. How many memorials can offer that?